ergonomics, the relationship between humans and their working environments. So as said, ergonomics is that relationship between humans and their working environments. The purpose of studying ergonomics is to ensure that the environments people work within are safe from both short-term and long-term risks to their health. So we've been looking at health and safety in this unit, and what we've been talking about are hazards and risks and things with the potential to cause harm to the individuals. And we've kind of been looking at it as something happens, there's an incident, and obviously there's an injury. But what we acknowledge with ergonomics is sometimes uh, health concerns don't happen immediately. Sometimes they're from prolonged use of us doing work within our day-to-day -day tasks. And then over long periods of time, this causes injury. So for example, in the ICT industry, I sit behind the desk and I'm looking at a computer all day. If I stare at that computer eight hours a day and don't take many breaks, it's going to cause eye strain. If I'm typing away non-stop, it's going to damage my wrists and my hands. So that is what we're kind of looking at with ergonomics. The acknowledgement that long-term work and completion of certain tasks can potentially cause injury. Thus, we do research into ergonomics, and through this we've been able to develop principles, products, and practices for people to be taught when they go into the workplace or to use when they go to, into the workplace to hopefully minimize these short-term and long-term injuries from occurring. So what we're going to look at is a number of ergonomic principles, and this will be specific to the ICT industry, and today we'll focus on that of a user at their workstation. But just to start off, some general uh, points about people in the ICT industry and things that need to be acknowledged that can help out with the ergonomic nature of their workstations is the use of adjustable furniture that I can raise and lower my chair and I can adjust the angle of my monitor so that I'm sitting at the desk correctly and comfortably. The placement of equipment on my desk, that it's, my desk is actually pretty clear and free and the things on my desk allow me to maneuver them easily such as my mouse and or access my ke a keyboard or use my tablet for drawing. And there's adequate space with little clutter to obstruct me from doing those things. I want to have a lighting in my room and both from natural and artificial sources. So natural light, which comes through windows, hopefully to the side of the user, okay, giving natural light into the room and then artificial light, the lights we switch on and off directly above the actual user of the system, not behind or in front of them, because that can also create glare for the screen. And that goes for windows as well through natural light. That's why we want them to the side. The room also needs to have good ventilation and airflow so that I can breathe in the room and it allows dust to be blown in and out of the room. Okay, but I have access to fresh air in order to keep me healthy as well. I need to ensure, as said before, that I take rest and exercise breaks from using the system. Uh, if that's to give my eyes a rest from looking at the computer, my hands a rest from typing, as well as to get up and get my blood flowing, improve my circulation and add to my fitness to get up, walk around as well there. And then finally, as said, things have been developed to help out with this and I can use specifically designed ergonomic equipment. Okay, there are now keyboard rests that we can put our palms on to aid while typing to ensure that we don't get things such as RSI when typing over long periods of time. Okay, you can add screen filters over our monitor and adjust brightnesses to a certain level to reduce the uh, strain on our eyes. And they're now fantastically designed uh, mouses to be used by users, which allow them to rest their wrists and have so many buttons on them, once again, to aid in that ergonomic support for the user's hands when using systems. So we're now going to look at a scenario of a user at a workstation, and we'll start off with the furniture. Firstly, we've got the desk, okay, and as I said with the desk, there needs to be adequate space for the user's legs to go under. Okay, we don't want any bars under there, we don't want too much clutter under there that might hurt their legs. They need to have room to move around and to put their legs under the desk comfortably. Secondly, we have the chair, and the chair needs to be adjustable having adjustments for height and lower back adjustment. Then this can work in conjunction with the desk so we can lower the chair so the user's legs can fit beneath it. But then we can adjust the, the back to support the user's back structure and height so that they feel comfortable when using the chair. We then also need to make sure the chair has five wheels. This is to support maneuverability so that when they are turning around, they're not actually twisting their back. It's actually they can swivel on the chair and move around on the chair, which is balanced from the five wheels in order to get things around their workstation. We've got the monitor, which is also adjustable in height and angle so that it meets a particular eye level of the actual user. And then we've also got the keyboard with the wrist rest, okay, as mentioned, so that they can rest their palms on the wrist rest and type comfortably, taking away that strain on their wrist when they're unsupported. So we'll now also have a foot rest down the bottom too. These are optional depending on whether or not the user's feet can touch the floor. Uh, if they can touch the floor, you don't necessarily need a foot rest. If they can't or if they just want it for comfort's sake, okay, it allows the, their feet to sit in an angle once again for comfort and for circulation. 
So let's pop in our user here and they're sitting in the chair and we'll highlight a few things about the user now interacting with this workstation area. So firstly, the eye level, okay? Their eyes line up their perspective with the top of the monitor. Okay, and they're about 50 to 70 centimeters away from the screen. So not getting that full glare from the brightness of the screen, giving them enough space between that and they can angle their eyes down to see the full screen as opposed to looking up, which causes more eye strain. We also then have their body elements. So their head, because of the, the way the chair is, their head sits directly above their shoulders. So thus no strain on their neck. Their elbows are at 90 degrees with their forearms horizontal okay with the actual keyboard once again aiding so they can rest their wrists on the actual wrist rest while typing and that's supported there and then as highlighted with the chair their back is straight though the contour the curve of their back is supported once again by the chair and once again the chair can be adjusted to suit this so i hope this has given you understanding of what ergonomics is and how we can apply it to the ict environment with our interaction with that actual workstation essentially acknowledge that understanding our work environment which is the foundation of ergonomics and the use of ergonomic principles can help prevent us from short-term and long-term injury in our day-to-day -day tasks